Toxanol built vessels called arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single arc they left behind that we know other arcs traveled through the sky and beyond. It seems those that came before us never lost hope in finding a new home for their kind. Just a few moves left, make them count. There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago, but it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxanol Corporation would make its mark on the world. Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste, and without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right, but no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. spark metal going pew pew is never a good thing. It's coming from behind that door. A warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. Need the right key? It's going to take a bit of puzzling to short circuit the door. Just a few moves left. Make them count. There you go. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out. That's the last of them. Let's talk to the wheeled one before backup arrives.
Yuba Tuluwawa Tuluwaba Vuluwa. He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. He sounds familiar. You just can't figure out why. Ya Yubawa Luma Utulu Ba Yuwu. He presents himself as out of date. He knows he's way overdue, but he hasn't given up. He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then, the night everything changed. There have been rumors of a one-eyed ronin seen outside the Great War, and he's happy to see it's true. The legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. The child could have been anyone, but the evil it had fled had left a mark, a facial scar to remember the past. How Lupa Lupin somehow left you alive after his raid on the old village. He must have had a purpose with that. The question is, what? Put the water on Weepa. There's no doubt you're the child, and that what Looper Lupin did to your village, your Moomer and Popsy, was the beginning of the end. He says it has taken you a long time to bring the past back up to the present, to find your way back, but he's grateful you have. It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. Your Moomer's disciples divided. After the old village was destroyed and you disappeared, a struggle between the families erupted and over time, the disciples turned against each other. Had it not been for the Tree of Life, no one would have survived. He hopes you at least remember the tree. <laughs>